Hey, restaurant pros, have you ever heard yourself say, why should I spend the time and money to train these people when I know they're not gonna work for me for that long? Why waste my time and money? Training is actually incredibly important. In fact, I would dare say one of the reasons you're experiencing high turnover is the lack of training, lack of proper supervision, and you're not an employer of choice. Stick around and I'll share with you how you can easily turn this around. I'm David Scott Peters, restaurant expert, coach, and the creator of the Restaurant Prosperity Formula. I've been coaching restaurant owners since 2003, and I'm really glad you're here to learn. Let's talk about the importance of training and how training is one of the keys to becoming an employer of choice. Hey, if you like tips and tricks like this, do me a favor, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, oh yeah, hit that bell so you're notified when my next video tip comes out. And for more tips and tricks, or restaurant owner success stories, make sure you tune into my podcast, Restaurant Prosperity Formula, found on all the popular podcasting services. Hey, do you know that most employees leave their jobs? Leave their jobs in the first 90 days of employment because they don't know what their job is, how to do it, how well it should be done, or by when. Oh, and they probably have a manager above them that doesn't know either. So that manager, well, they have to make sure the new hire feels really small so as not to let their little secret out that they don't know what to do either. So what do you do? You start with a job description. I know we're talking about training, but bear with me. The job description is the critical piece to a great training system. So when you start on this job description, you really need to take the time to truly understand what the responsibilities of the position are and what qualifications a person needs for that position. Next, you're gonna define the duties and responsibilities for the position. So for instance, let's say we talk about, say a server. The server is the job. Underneath that are a bunch of processes, such as taking an order, delivering an order, closing out a ticket. Well, the process might be take beverage and food orders accurately by listing and explaining the specials, suggesting items, and upselling when appropriate. Now, you'll have a whole list of those processes of what a server would do in a day-to-day -day process. Next, you're gonna define the performance standards for each process, and this is incredibly important because the job performance standards are the core to your job description. This is the how well and by when portion of that job. Once you have a great job description, you'll now have the foundation of a great training program. Creating a great training program requires strong planning and organizational skills, which I know you have. You opened your restaurant. With each process, each of those process clearly defined, all you need to do is map out the new training program, is list out all the steps for each one of those processes for each new hire and what they need to learn to do that job. For example, if we go back to the process that I gave you a moment ago, take beverage and food orders accurately by listing and explaining the specials, suggesting items, and upselling when appropriate. Here's what you might list out as your steps. Well, let's say there's four steps. When taking the food and beverage order, the second step would be writing the order. The third step or in this or process, I should say, is when inputting the order. And maybe the fourth step is the expo station. What happens there from marking tables and so on. So here's what the details of say performance standards might look like for each of those steps of taking that order. So let's say it's, it's taking the order, that first piece, that first process. Ask if you're gonna answer any questions the guests might have about the menu. By the way, never say, are you ready to order? I hate walking vending machines. Start with the ladies and children. Do you know that you actually have to train people that you don't start with the person you see first, but we, we are sh still have chivalry, right? We start with ladies and children, then we go to the men. You have to train that process. Write down the order of the table numbers and position numbers. This is really, really important. One, we need the table number that when we input it into the POS system, one, we know if we have a food runner where that goes. But we want position numbers too, so we know where that item goes, that we're not auctioning off an item when it comes to the table. You need to merchandise and suggest accompaniments and side orders. So we can make a better experience. We have to train these things. Another step might be repeat the order back to the guest. 
Another step, ask guests with children if they would like the kids meal served first. Another step might be clarify the order in which the guests prefer the food to be served so that it's delivered in the proper order. For example, starters before entrees, salads after starters, etc. See, you never want to assume, right? And you have to train your people that these are the steps of each of those processes. Now, finally, you're going to break your processes into lessons. So now imagine each of these processes that the server has to do as a part of their job. There are all these steps that need to happen. Well, now we know what the job is, how to do it, how well it should be done, more importantly by when we've mapped it completely out. Now we can create the lessons for each day or each process because nowadays we don't necessarily put out a six day training program. It may take two weeks, it may take three days. It's as long as we can test them through those processes. So this ensures each person is going to learn what needs to be done. But to make that happen, you've got to make sure you train the trainer. See, they need to understand the lessons that they're training. Each manager needs to understand each of the positions and their processes. I don't care if they're the best server in the world or best cook in the world, but if they understand what the job is, how to do it, how well it should be done, more importantly, by when we have consistency in management. Oh, by the way, which puts you on a path to becoming an employer of choice. See, when your managers know, and they're all making sure people are doing the job the same way every single time, because they know the importance of those performance standards, Again, we have a positive work environment, reducing our turnover. See, when you have a great training program in place, not only will your employees stay longer, right? Because they like where they work. It's a positive work environment. You're going to see your company culture improve. Again, a positive work environment. It's all about culture. This is what's killing our industry right now. We've had too many years of people abusing line employees and not treating them like people and understanding they're important to the business. See, your predict productivity is going to increase because when you keep people longer, you can have better efficiencies, cooks, cook more meals faster in a shorter, right? In that same time period, you've got servers who can upsell and bring in, bring in more sales and increase your regulars. See, it really increases that productivity, which improves your bottom line. See, when you do this, you'll start down your path to becoming an employer of choice because your people, your employees will actually love working for you because their jobs become easier. They have consistency in management and the guests love them. They're not beating them up on a daily basis because you're consistent. See, I believe that training is so important that I actually give all of my coaching members a full suite of fully customizable training manuals for both full service and quick service restaurants. You need to make a great training program a priority in your restaurant. If you're tired of not being able to leave your restaurant because no one else knows how to run it, I want to make sure you know it doesn't have to be that way. You can leave your restaurant. It is possible to build a team of people who know how you want the restaurant to run with trained and responsible people in place. You can give yourself time away. What would you do if you had time away from your restaurant? Would you sleep better? Would your relationships improve? Would you feel more relaxed? These are all things you deserve to experience as a business owner. It's why we own our own businesses. If you would like to learn how to own a restaurant that doesn't depend on you to be successful, click the link in the description to watch a free video to learn exactly what you have to do. Also, be sure to subscribe to get my weekly tips and watch these two videos to get more information and guidance for running a successful restaurant.